I am indebted to not only American University, Dr. Thurber and Dr. Nelson, but also CMI and PI for where I am in the world. The Public Affairs and Advocacy Institute kind of laid the foundation for all I know about advocacy and lobbying. CMI, I took in 2002, my senior year, and uh, I would probably not be in politics if it wasn't for it. There was a need to start to train in an academic setting people who were interested in the technology of campaigns. And we started that at American University. You're told that you're going to take a four credit class in the course of two weeks, and you think it's unfathomable, you think it's in the can't be done, but yet you're somehow enamored with it. I heard that it was a week-long intensive and that it would be really crazy, but also very much worth any sort of stress I might experience. I was a little intimidated because of the love of work, but really mostly excited because that's the thing that I want to do long-term in my life, so the level of work is something that I should get used to. I'm just expecting to kind of gain a better understanding of how lobbying really works and how you really create a lobbying plan. I was always kind of interested in lobbying, but I never really heard too much about it. I didn't really know much about it. So I did my own independent research and I discovered that it combined the private sector with government and also a little bit of marketing. So I was really interested in all that. It's like a war that brings people close together and they build friendships and get the knowledge from the professionals in the field. It gives students a real world experience in what working on a campaign, being a campaign manager is like. There's a lot of people that study the history of campaigns or study the history of TV ads, but actually pragmatic, tactical campaign planning, writing, and putting things into practice. You have to write a plan. You have to come up with a sound strategy, a clear message, and you have to stick to it. The students who enroll in those courses are exposed to information at the very cutting edge of both fields. It's really evolved over the last 33 years. In 1994, when I took CMI, the internet was not used in any powerful way in campaigns, and now I go back and talk about technology and campaigns, social media and campaigns. The number of experts that are brought to bear on a curriculum in a space of 10 to 12 days is really nothing short of extraordinary. My fondest memory from the experience was going to Downtown Day and uh, hearing the different people speak. It's a knowledge base, but also an exposure with some of the most talented men and women that are involved in Washington, in government, in lobbying, in policy development, uh, just across the board. Getting to meet one of President Obama's speechwriters, having a lecture by him, and then getting to have a conversation with him after class and see a speech that he wrote with Obama's markups was probably my favorite thing. Many of our students who go on to careers in campaign management come back and teach in the program. Now I have the honor of sharing the knowledge that I built over the Institute and my current career as a lobbyist and government relations consultant. It is very important to share experiences with our future lobbyists, our future politicians, our future advocates for whatever issue they want to focus on. CMI is a place where Republicans and Democrats can come together and share their war stories with students. And that spirit of bipartisanship is something that, that I try to bring now to the advocacy work that I do. Speakers learn a lot from students, from their questions, uh, from uh, the observations of students, from the students being critical about certain aspects of strategies and techniques, say, in campaigns. When we've been doing this business for a long time, we kind of get comfortable, and the students uh, often challenge old ways of thinking. It's a great, a great course, and I would recommend that everybody take it. I'd recommend that most students actually take this course because of what it actually, you know, what, it, what kind of skill sets it actually brings to you. It's armed me with this wealth of knowledge that I don't think I would have gotten anywhere else, much less in two weeks. If you're thinking about doing anything in politics, it's gonna be a huge primer for everything that you do after this. We do tend to attract the best and the brightest. Uh, these are students who are exceptionally well qualified academically, uh, but like so many American University students, are very serious about taking what they learn here at the university 
uh, and change the world. We live in a democratic society and I think that getting young people interested and involved in looking at careers that involve advocacy and a better understanding of how the system of government works uh, is extremely important. Well, we're very proud of the record that we have of students leaving and getting jobs. The alumni of both of these programs uh, are represented at the very highest levels of both professions, uh, both in this city and throughout the world. I will be uh, on Capitol Hill or in a state legislature and someone will come up to me and say, I was in this class. I looked at CMI as an apprenticeship program and what Dr. Nelson and uh, Dr. Thurber put together uh, is really something uh, that doesn't exist anywhere else. As, as both these programs celebrate milestone anniversaries, it's amazing to think where it has come and where it's going. And if not for the leadership of Dr. Thurber and Dr. Candy Nelson, um, it wouldn't be on the trajectory it is. Jim Thurber and Candy Nelson are giants in their field, and they are giants as far as thousands of people who have been through the brand known as the Campaign Management Institute, the Advocacy Institute, the Center, and then the Brussels program. They both bring an unshakable integrity to the work, and they uh, take great steps to ensure that our students are exposed uh, to ethical issues uh, and how to resolve them uh, when these young men and women go out uh, to lead as they will after they leave American University. If you have the capacity to help support the center to support it, whether it's through your donations or through um, participation and, and as speakers or as uh, advocates for the center, if you're students, I encourage you to take advantage of the great education you can get in the center that can help drive a, a lifelong career. If you come here, you're going to learn from the best people in the field and you're going to have a much better possibility of getting a job in a profession associated with lobbying and uh, uh, campaigns.